Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today, instead of baking in the midday sun, I've actually decided I'm going to go around this hotel complex. We are still on our summer holiday on the island of Crete in Greece. And I'm going to take my Sigma 105 millimeter macro lens and hopefully photograph one of these little bugs that are making all of this noise. So let's go. Now when it comes to camera settings on a macro shoot like this, if you have a tripod and the subject isn't moving, well actually it's quite easy because you can slow down the shutter speed to your desire. Now I think I'm gonna go with way less than one hundredth of a second shutter speed and my aperture can be closed down quite a lot, f8, f11. And because the shutter speed is so slow, the ISO can also be really low, which means that I can get a nice clear, noiseless image, well just if the subject doesn't move a lot. Fingers crossed. So now it's just a matter of waiting for the bug to actually get to a spot where I can reach it with my tripod and do a focus tag. So I want to have the whole bug in focus and then everything else out of focus. Now these bugs might seem like very static creatures, but they're actually moving always just teeny tiny movements of, um, up the tree and up the, the branch. And this specific bug that I'm trying to photograph is kind of shy because I think I'm in the way of his communication with everybody else. So I got the shots, now let's head back to the computer and I'm gonna show you how you can focus stack everything together into one really awesome, very weird bug image. Let's go. Okay, so I've imported all of my photographs into Lightroom, all of the photographs from today, and it was really windy. I actually could not capture one of those bugs um, in a focus stack because they were all too high up on, in the trees that I couldn't just keep my camera still and I could not use my tripod because it was not high enough. However, I did manage to photograph a teeny tiny spider, a wasp and a whole bunch of flowers. So this was the first flower and as I scroll through the shots, you can see, you can also see the focus breathing from the lens. Now how just things get smaller and smaller, but I have pretty much the whole flower captured. So I'm going to go uh, open this in Photoshop as layers. Here we have all the layers in Photoshop. Now first I'm going to try and auto align them. I hope that you know Photoshop will figure out which things fit together because you know the flower was moving a little bit and I do have the focus breathing from the lens also kind of zooming in and zooming out everything. Well, well something has been done. <laughs> okay, let's try and stack them all together. Blend stack images, see how that works. I have to be honest, the processing power that goes into all of this stacking and merging images together is just phenomenal. I mean, if you can imagine doing this by hand with all of these, you know, 11 or how many photographs, it would be a tedious job. Uh, I do see an artifact over here, which I'm going to fix. That's not a big issue. I'm just going to pick up a brush color like this, go with a softer flow, like about 10%. And then just paint over this area right over here. So a quick edit and then some final thoughts and words. And there we go. We have an image completely edited and I think it looks really nice. The whole subject is really in focus and you have a nice blurry background. I've also added my watermark and my traditional white frame with a little shadow over here. So thanks for watching. I hope you found this interesting. Subscribe, like and comment and I'll see you guys in this video over here. Bye bye.